you want to do something other than just shadowing me everywhere, why don't you come along and show me if you're any use? I might just do that. The name's Lance, by the way. Tommy Versetti. Let's go. Greetings, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Vice City video. In this case, you will team up with Lance to help out Colonel Juan Cortez, um, his associate Diaz, protect them from, well, some other bad guys. And it's an interesting mission. It's a chase mission. And yeah, it can be a little frustrating, but it can be also some fun. And there's a good way to do it to where you don't end up dead. So let's get on with Guardian Angels. Tomas, I appreciate your coming. Forgive me for getting straight to business. Diaz has asked me to oversee a minor business transaction. Let's hope it goes better than last time. Which is why I thought of you, my friend. I dropped some protection at the multi-story car park. Pick it up, then go and watch over Diaz's men at the drop-off. Gracias, amigo. Diaz, huh? Apparently that... Spoiler alert here, um, the Colonel is going to be leaving you some incredibly nice firepower in a multi-story car park. It is the Kruger um, assault rifle, and it's one of the better weapons in the game. and all the action I see. Look, you want to do something other than just shadowing me everywhere? Why don't you come along and show me if you're any use? I might just do that. The name's Lance, by the way. Tommy Versetti. Let's go. Now you and Lance can travel to where you meet Diaz and the rendezvous for the exchange of, um, well, money for drugs. I'll just put it out there. You must be called Tess's new gun. Until more gainful opportunities arise. They'll be here any minute. We both better get a good vantage point. Okay, I'll take the balcony. You get the roof across the yard. Just in time, man. Eh? I am King Cubano, man. Eh? Now you have to protect Diaz and Lance. You can stay on the high ground here, but to be honest with you, you are better off once you take this guy out. And the other guy, you're just better off dropping down and using the car as cover. As the bad guys come in, you can shoot them. Lance will take out anyone who can, you know, get past the perimeter. But these guys are more focused on killing Diaz than they should be. And they're more of a detriment to themselves than they are to you or Lance or even Diaz. And so, yeah, you can just mow them down and take them out and do it on the ground and collect some major amount of money. Need some help here. My money. 
this is where the frustrating part happens. You've got to chase the bad guy all around, trying to strafe him or shoot him while you are chasing him, and the aiming and controls for the guns while riding are terrible. And yeah, you're just going to keep chasing the guy and hunting him down until you can get him off his bike and shoot him dead, essentially. Okay, only a single police star and a Sanchez. I think I can ride out the pursuit, but you got to return back to Diaz and deliver the package, which is actually surprisingly close. I live! Take heads, and it's all down to you. What is your name? Tommy. I see you soon, amigo, I think. Shit, where's that guy, Lance? Mission passed. And now you can steal a nice lowrider car here with some uh, hydraulics and other fun stuff to play around with. But I digress. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave a comment. If you like this type of video, I post four videos a week involving video games, and you don't want to miss out, so hit that subscribe button and bell icon, and you will be notified as to when I post a video. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And thanks for stopping by.